Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is a, uh, a little audio amplifier circuit that I built. It'll be on sale at EngineeringShock.com and on our eBay store at ElectronicLessons.com. What it is, is an audio amplifier. Picks up audio through this microphone, feeds it through an op amp. Uh, the op amp gain is set using the uh, first potentiometer here labeled gain. And the output of that um, op amp is fed to the analog output pin and it's also fed into a comparator used by the same IC. Now for those of you who don't know what comparators are, what I've done is I've, this comparator circuit is so that you can you get uh, 0 and 5 volt signals. Uh, the comparator has a large gain on it and you've got a positive reference point and a negative reference point. Uh, the second potentiometer here sets the negative reference point. So if I've got the negative reference point set to say 2.5 volts via this uh, variable resistor, then as soon as the output of the the voltage of the output of the first op amp exceeds 2.5 volts, the output will shoot high as long as it's higher, as long as the the uh, signal is higher than 2.5 volts. At which point, when it goes below 2.5 volts, it will go back down to zero. Now that's how we get our square wave. It's either all or nothing, zero or five volts. But I'm going to show you uh, how to how to a how to use it. I'm going to be making an assembly video for this soon. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it. If you want to see this command, you can go to engineeringshock.com. Uh, we can use, uh, first we want to set our analog gain for our first op amp, and then we can set our uh, reference voltage on our comparator to either high or low to make it more sensitive. Now, the higher the reference voltage, the less sensitive, or the more, the less sensitive it is, meaning it's ideal for clap circuits. It'll pick that up, and I'll show you that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to bring up my oscilloscope, so just give me a second. Right now, I've got my oscilloscope probe probing the analog output. Now, you can actually read the pinout right here on the PCB. Um, there is a 4-pin header that allows me to plug directly into my breadboard. Right now, I've got 5 volts on it. Uh, 5 to 9 volts is ideal. And uh, so, we want to change our gain using the 50K gain variable resistor. If you turn it all the way right, from this perspective, the gain is at uh, extremely low, meaning that the signal picked up by the mic will equal the signal at the output, roughly. And you're not going to be able to pick that up easily. It's going to be very, very small. So as soon as you start turning that variable resistor to the right, uh, we're going to we're going to get our, a, a larger voltage gain. Now I'll show you this on my oscilloscope. Right now I've got this resistor turned all the way left. We'll get to the we'll get to the comparator. Uh, voltage reference in just a second. Now you might see some wobbling on there and that's because of the refresh rate of my camera. Right now I've got the uh, analog pin probed and I've got gain set to very very low. So I'm going to speak into it and you'll see a little bit of a waveform but not much. And then I'm going to start turning the gain up. Hello! 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 Hopefully you can see that. But now I'm going to start turning it up. I'm just going to keep turning it. Hello! 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 So that's gain set to full. Now I'm just talking and you can see my voice. Hello, my bony island babe. So, really, you can see your voice on here. If you have a, a better oscilloscope, then you can uh, really see in a larger scale what your voice looks like. It's kind of cool to see your voice like this, huh? So if you have a scope, you can do this too. It's kind of amusing. But that's our analog output. Now, if I probe our digital output, hello, hello, square wave. So I'm going to start turning my uh, analog gain, or sorry, my digital gain, my comparator gain, uh, voltage reference to the right. Hello, 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 hello. So now it's extremely sensitive. If you turn it to the right, extremely, extremely sensitive. Those are all square waves. So now I'm going to turn it all the way to the left. Keep in mind that my voltage, uh, keep in mind that my uh, my analog gain is at full right now. So now, if I speak really loudly, I might be able to see something. But if I see, speak normally, you don't see anything if I turn my uh, comparator voltage to the left. Now, this is ideal for clap circuits. You can tune this for clap circuits. So hook it up with your Arduino. See, if I clap, it picks my clap up. But it's not going to pick me up talking, and I'm talking pretty darn loudly. 
Um, so you have the option of really using, uh, you can amplify your voice and use the analog signal for, um, I don't know, a voice recording IC, or you can put it up to a speaker, this is a tiny little preamp, or you can use it for your clap circuits. Uh, if I keep turning my voltage uh, reference to the left, if I could turn the, the variable resistor all the way to the left, I make it even more sensitive, to the point where you don't see anything anymore. Now that's obviously too sensitive. So you can tune your analog gain and your negative reference point to work really well for a clap circuit. It's a fun little circuit to build. There are very few components. I'm going to make an assembly video. I really hope you like it, and uh, I hope you take a look at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com because we've got tons of stuff coming, and the more I sell, the more I make. It's really a, a wonderful hobby to be able to do this, and uh, for those of you who are watching, I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch this video. Anyhow, that is the uh, audio amplifier and comparator DIY electronics kit. It'll soon be available at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. One last thing to note, check out our easy RFID kits. They're so easy, they're so easy. Easy RFID, and I know I've been talking about the voice recognition kits for a long time now, but they are on the way. They're not kits, they're modules. They're going to be super easy to use, and you can interface it with just about anything you can think of. So thanks for watching, guys.